Hi, I'm Keith Cotter and welcome to HSP Floor Element on HSP Design 25. HSP Floor Elements is going to allow you to frame a completed floor cassette. You'll be able to determine all your floor cassette orientation, distribution. You'll be able to detail all the edges of your floor. You'll even be able to uniquely change a detail edge of a floor. And furthermore, if you've got an opening in that floor, like a chimney, the stairs, or even a shaft opening, you can also detail around that opening and uniquely change each of those edge details as well. Furthermore, there's a number of flex tools like blocking, lifting, and MEP clash detection. And with all of these, it is possible now to fully frame your floor element. Let's have a look. Let's jump in and see how this is all possible. So first up, we go to the Framing Styles Editor. We have our own floor ribbon, and in this we can define either a wall or a floor. And within a floor, it's possible that we can define the distribution of the flooring. For example, here I'm defining that the distribution of the sheeting is going across perpendicular to the joists. And I change the spacing of the beams. I can define edge details, whether it's the top, bottom, left or right edge detail. And I can even define how a wall would meet a floor or how two floors would meet together. And all of these detailing possibilities will eventually result in a fully framed uh, cassette, as you can see here on this example. Now, once you've framed the element, you may also want to edit that element uniquely. So, for example, you might want to change one edge of the element or change the distribution. So, for example, here I might say I want to change the distribution from 400 to 610 and I might want to change a particular edge of the detail and maybe put a ladder detail, for example, a detail like this, and eventually it will give me the possibility. This real-time viewer also shows me the result even before I frame it. And finally, when I do frame the, uh, the element, I will get that final result that I require as such in my element. And then next up, if we wanted to define an opening in a floor, you have again that control to be able to define all those details in our framing styles editor. And here, for example, I can see my opening in a floor and I can define how I might want that opening to be framed both on the top, bottom, left and right of the opening and defining the number of beams that you'd want in each case in this case. So. If we were to add some type of an opening, like a, a shaft opening, this could also be a stairwell or a chimney opening, but yet form that opening in the floor by using just native Revit tool. And by the fact that this tool is native Revit, when we frame that opening, it automatically knows from the detailing engine that it must frame in a certain way. But what about if a particular edge was framed differently to the other edge? So for example, I wanted to add two beams here to this. I can override an edge detail and select the actual edge in question and pick here the detailing that I would want in this case. Again, remember you would have this detail already set up in your framing style editor and you would just simply reframe the floor and hence you would get your resultant beams that you have. I'm Keith Cotter. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in future sessions.